Hey, what's up? My name is Beth and this is Star Makeup. Today we are going to try out the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox Palette. I saw this like the day that it dropped for the first time. I fell in love with it. Even though I'm not normally a neutral bitch, I love this palette. I prefer cool tones most of the time anyway. Um, and I do enjoy a neutral look every now and again. Of course, it's neutral. It has to be crazy dramatic. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we are going to test this palette out and see how it performs. Um, I will do other videos and do more looks with this later on, but for now this is just a first impression, not a review, you know, it's just my first thoughts on how this palette works. Um, so if you would like to see uh, what I thought about this palette and how I created this eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so um, I'm sure you already saw from the intro that we are going to be playing with the Stone Cold Fox palette. And I'm sure you've already seen swatches too, because I'm going to insert my little swatch video. But this is what the palette looks like. And I know that I'm not much for neutrals, but when I saw this thing, it like screamed at me um, because when I do do neutrals I prefer to do cool tone neutrals so mm, this thing just love it um, I particularly love this first row here of these like nice mauvey tones and then this row of like the black and silvers and the white at the top oh, I love it so, um, for my first impression, I'm gonna play with more of the, like, mauve tones, and then, obviously, this is a big palette, so I do hope to do more looks with this later and do some of the other color schemes that they've got. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to use my Spectrum brush set again because, man, ever since I've gotten these, I'm, like, so in love with these brushes. So. Um, of course, this palette does not have a mirror attached to it. I'm just going to use my Rebel Rogue Lab Suspended in Dusk palette. Um, and let's see. I'm going to start off with this shade called Gravity Hill. And man, this palette, all I've done is swatch it and it's like beat to hell already. Um, so it's this mauve shade here. So I'm going to just start off with that with the um, AO7. It's just a nice flat packing brush. And I'm going to pick some of that up. And I'm just gonna kind of pack it right into my crease like I normally would. I have like three videos that need to be edited before you guys are probably even going to see this one. Like before I even edit this one because I am just, I'm so behind because I pretty much all the videos that I had unedited from before I took like that little month break, I pretty much just dumped all of them and figured I have to forget it. Um, and I I've done like 
This is like my fourth one and I've only posted one, uh, two, no, because I explained where I was and did my little makeup haul. And then, uh, the Ipsy stuff and that was it. But I filmed like three other videos. Um, hopefully you will have seen them <laughs> before you're seeing this one. But I don't know, I just can't seem to get myself, like, back into a routine of, like, anything. That's the thing that sucks, is, like, dealing with depression just kind of, like, sucks you into this giant hole and then you're stuck trying to get out of it for months. <laughs> I love this shade. It is so freaking pretty. It's like the perfect deep mauve. Love it. Alright, so I pretty much have this in the shape that I want it. So now I'm going to grab the A08. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a little bigger version of the Morphe M433. And let's see, what do I want to go into? I think maybe, I think I'm going to dip into Enigma here. It's just kind of like a really light taupe. Maybe not taupe. Okay, and I'm just going to use that to blend out this previous shade. I'm sorry if when I'm talking you end up hearing a bunch of like loud trucks in the background. It's like almost four in the afternoon and I live on a main road so And that is blending out so nice. I had always looked at the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette and like thought about getting it and the brush roll. And when I saw this released, I was gonna grab the brush roll too. But I kind of like hemmed and hawed about it because I was like, man, it's a neutral palette. Am I really gonna use it? And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And then don't you know, I went to my cart and it told me that the brush roll was sold out. Um, I actually do have the brush roll shortly to be on its way to me. I got an email saying that it was back in stock and I was like okay yep getting it so because I saw somebody do um I saw makeup just for fun do a uh, a couple of pictures of like comparisons of the brushes and the brush roll that they designed to go with this the brushes are a lot smaller than the ones from the bare necessities set and I prefer kind of smaller brushes, so I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. So, we will, uh, test out those brushes when they get here. I haven't even gotten my shipping notification yet. Colourpop usually takes a good freaking at least week before they ship anything. Um... I think I'm gonna go just a little bit into the shade right next to that called Ghost Town. Just because I'm losing a little bit of the depth of that previous color. And I wanna kinda of bring that back a little bit. 
make it a little bit more of a gradient. Yeah, that looks much better. So far, this is performing like an absolute dream. I'm freaking loving this. All right. Um, I'm gonna take the slightly smaller packing brush, which is the A13. And I think I'm gonna go into Obsidian, which is this like really deep mauve. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that and just put it like right underneath where I packed on that first shade, the Gravity Hill. And I'm just gonna pack that into the outer corner. I'm even gonna bring it down onto the lid too and kind of do like the whole V situation. And while I'm at it, I will probably, not probably, I'm going to bring it down onto my lower lash line too. All right. Loving this, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, oh, I guess I'm gonna throw my brush. That's what I'm gonna do, Jesus. Um, I'm gonna pick up the A12 because I want things to be just a little bit more precise for this outer corner here. And I'm gonna go into Ghost Town, which is that kind of like middle shade that I ended up spontaneously picking up <laughs> and I'm just going to very very lightly go around this and I'm more worried about doing this on the lower lash line and like the very outer corner and not so much into the crease because I'm gonna go back into that like bigger fluffy brush to do that. I just don't want this outer corner to get like super blown out into the lower lash line. I don't know why, but I'm not a very big fan of my lower lash line being like crazy blown out. I guess some people feel that it kind of hides their eye bag. I feel like it like accentuates mine. So I like to kind of keep my lower lash line a little tighter. But I mean, if you like yours blown out, man, go ahead, blow it out, dude. You know, sometimes I like mine like that, but most of the time I try to keep it pretty close. Okay, digging this so much. I knew I was gonna love this palette. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take that bigger fluffy brush, the A08, and just pick up a little bit of Gravity Hill. And then make sure that I blend this darker shade into my crease here. I'm gonna pack just a little bit more of that on, just like into the crease a bit. Okay, now I'm not gonna use any more additional product. All right, I'm gonna go into the B06, which is like the fluffiest brush in this. And I'm just gonna pick up a bit of Enigma and I'm gonna do that more on the side of the brush than on the tip. I did pick up a little bit on the tip, but most of it is on the side. And then I'm gonna keep my brush pretty much, you know, straight up and down. 
in just very lightly. Go around all of this. Like, re- I'm barely touching my skin. And I'm just touching it with, like, the outside bristles, like, the side of the brush. Until I come to my inner corner where I have to go in. And since my eye wanted to wing this out anyway, I'm going to kind of make sure that that gets out there like that. Mm. Love this. Okay, um, my battery is flashing at me, so I'm going to change that real quick and then we will do the um, shimmers on the lid. That will be great. Okay, battery problem fixed. Um, before we move on to the shimmers though, real quick, I am going to pick up um, a little bit I think I'm going to mix Ghost Town and Enigma and uh, run that in to the inner corner. Because I want to make sure that I've got color going the whole way across and not just in that outer portion there because that would look silly. Yeah, I still haven't even filmed with the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette that I got, which I really wanted to get that video out first. Um, maybe, I mean, not first, but like... Rude. Um, at like pretty soon after I got it, because, you know, it wasn't really new anymore, but it was newer. And I haven't even filmed with that. I haven't even played with it at all. That one's still sitting. But this came yesterday, I think it was. Yesterday or the day before. And I just love it so much. I was like, I have to play with that palette. <laughs> so even though I have a whole bunch of stuff to film with yet. And have like four videos to edit anyway before I can even mess with this one. I was like, oh, I gotta play with the palette. Okay, I love this so far. I'm so happy with this. So I'm going to take the um, A16, nice flat brush, and my NYX glitter primer. Because I totally agree with Betty Jean from Butte Bean that this is just the best way to do a cup grease. <laughs> um, and I think, oh, what am I gonna go in with on my lid? I know what I want in like my inner corner. I'm not sure what I want to do on my lid. I might use one of the uh, sequin shades in the outer corner. Yeah, because I don't know that I really like that one. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to um, tap this basically onto my lid up to where it's going to meet that dark matte shade. And then I'm going to take the rest of it and kind of go a little bit for my eye shape um, above my eyeball. Most people would really like follow the shape of their eyeball. But if I want you to be able to see it, I have to take mine up higher. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up Play It Cold. 
which I'm pretty sure is like one of the mats with shimmer in it. But it's got like a lot of shimmer in it. So, ooh, yeah, see that? Okay, so I'm just gonna put that kind of diagonally from my outer corner kind of in towards my inner corner and then with that brush I'm going to pick up so fine which is like the very first shade in the palette and I am just going to pack that everywhere that I put that glitter glue that has not been covered up already This color is just so pretty. And I knew I had to use it in my first impression as soon as I saw it, like online, as soon as I saw it, that was the first one that like really drew my eye. This one and the like insanely bright silver. Those were the two shimmers that were like talking to me. <laughs> Okay, make sure that's up high enough. You can see it when my eyes are open, which I can't really see near too well. It's behind my camera. Let me look at this one. That's not too bad. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that Play It Coal on my finger. And I'm going to kind of tap over where the two of them meet. And then I'm going to go back over this one. And just kind of make sure that there's a nice gradient between the two. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love it so much. I am gonna pick up a little bit of So Fine with my finger, just to get like right by my lid. Right by my lid, oh my God. Like right at the edge of my lid. Sheesh. Okay, I love this. I love this so much. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, pop on a, uh, oh no, <laughs> I'm going to recreate it on the other eye. Then I'm going to pop on la liner, lashes, and lower lash line mascara, and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I'm almost at the completed look. I thought about it while I was doing everything else. I thought it would probably look really cool if we took some of this shade, which is a super shock shadow. Um, it's called Day Trippin'. This came from the Making Mobs collection and used that in the inner corner and just like brought it down onto the lower lash line a little bit. So I'm hoping that this brush will work for this. Um, I'm just going to use the A12. I haven't used this to try to pick up a Super Shock yet, so I don't know how well it's going to work. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be picking it up pretty good. I just thought this would like tie the look together really nicely. Um, the lashes that I put on are from Lorella and they're in the style Morocco. And I really love these lashes. I, I really like most of Lorella's lashes. They're, they're really beautiful. If you're not used to like really big lashes though, um, you might, they do have some that are smaller, but you definitely would not want to go with Morocco because they are pretty big. But they are 
so pretty. I just thought this would look cute because it's kind of got like that blue flip to it. It's so pretty. And it, it, this brush is picking it up. You just, you really need to pack this shade on to really get like the full effect of it. So I'm having to go in like 50 times with it. Uh, I don't know that I have anything else handy that would work. <laughs> um, let me clean off that brush that I used to cut my crease with. Maybe that'll work better. Oh yeah, that's definitely picking it up better. Cool. Um, and I assume <laughs> it's pretty noticeable that I re-dyed my hair yesterday. I'm hoping that I covered up the part of my face. I'm so sloppy when I do my dye that like I had dye all along the side of my face. So I was hoping that I could cover that up with my foundation. And I had it straight but I put it up into that ponytail so now it's kind of got a little bit of a kink to it but that's alright. Um, I used the um, NYX Epic Wear liner in my waterline and it is the shade, uh, if I can find where it is on here, Fierce Purple. And I really like those liners. You can really build them up to be like super pigmented. You just have to let like the first layer dry and then lay down the second layer on top of it and they're like crazy pigmented. Oh yeah, this looks so freaking good in the inner corner. Um, and then I also threw on um, an e.l.f. matte crayon um, in the shade T-Rose on my lips. And then I topped it off with ColourPop's Luxe Lux Gloss in Figgy With It, also from the Making Moths collection. So, I think that is it. So, this is the finished look. And so far, I really, really like the Stone Cold Fox. Um, I had waited to watch anybody else's videos using it, um, and while I was doing the other eye, I watched uh, Raw Beauty Christie's video where she used it, and um, Butte Bean's video where she used it, and they both liked it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to create some more looks with this. Uh, I have a pile of palettes that I need to get through first before I can do additional videos. Um, on any of my new first impressions, but I will get to it, I promise. Um, uh, I did want to show you guys with this, I also picked up the In a Trance palette. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna show you that without it blinding you. The In a Trance palette, which is just freaking stunning. I love it. And I picked up, believe it or not, I usually don't like these. I picked up some pressed glitters and I do have swatches of these. Um, I basically got those to use with the In A Trance palette. So I will um, include the swatches when I do my first impression on that. And then I also got a couple of single shadows too. So I will do a separate video on that and I also have more ColourPop stuff coming um, to get shipped out to me and a couple of other hauls that I will be doing probably sometime next week or two weeks from now depending on when everything finally gets to me. Um, 
So yeah, that is it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this and would like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, that way you get notified every time I post a new video. Um, hop over to Instagram and follow me over there so that you can see all of the looks that I do. Um, all of the information will be listed in the description box down below and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.